Jazakallah. Even before he opens his mouth, Jazakallah, Jazakallah, Jazakallah. This is Allah commanding Rasulullah, Mashaa of your home. Genuine mashwara. Seek their opinion. Seek their opinion in the best possible way. So that they can feel valued again. Mashaa of your home fil amr. Faiza azamta. And don't worry, you still have a final wording. After you consult all the sahaba, Faiza azamta. You still have a final wording. You still have a final say. Fatawakkal ala Allah. When you reach a decision, then put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because at the end of the day, everything comes from Allah. Subhanallah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts a right attitude in the right place, right when we need it. Right now we are thinking, oh, if we have that kind of leader, if he has all of these kinds of qualities, victory will come. We will be successful. No trial and tribulation will come. Yeah? That's what we are thinking. Right now that's what we are thinking. But Allah says, no. Even if you have such kind of leader, fatawakkal ala Allah, put your trust in Allah. Turn back to Allah, make dua to Allah, because every situation comes from Allah. They, that immediately the next ayah is, in yansarkumullahu fala ghalib alakum. If Allah helps you, then no one can overpower you. It doesn't matter what kind of leader you are. There is no leader who is better than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fatawakkal ala Allah, put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it is in that spirit, let all make us dua, all of us. Let's make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the ability and tawfiq that we implement the qualities of a true leader in our lives. In our family lives, when we deal with our wives and when we deal with our children. We make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us good leaders, as teachers, as people who serve in their community in any capacity. As people who are in charge for different aspects of their community. I sincerely ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put love in our heart to follow the sunnah of Rasulullah. The leadership sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam so that we can lead a better family life. We can lead a better community life and we can run better Islamic organizations. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us united in this dunya and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reunite us in the hereafter.